Let's talk real quick about how you can repurpose your content for other language markets. Most people think, oh, I gotta have someone create all new materials in whatever language, and that's not necessarily the case. You know, you don't need to create all the content from scratch. Some of the content can just be easily translated and actually used. And of course, it needs to be cleaned up the translation to make sure it's a good translation. Uh, but overall, typically, blog posts, articles, things like that, even videos, there are different ways to do videos. Uh, they can just be translated and they're good enough for you to use not only for SEO, but for marketing purposes. Uh, you can have audio or video transcribed first and then the transcription translated. And then there's a number of things you can do with um, the translated, uh, you know, audio tracks from just audio or, or the audio track from video. You can do subtitles with the video. You can uh, have someone completely recreate voiceover with the script. You have different options. So you can obviously hire a native language person to create new content you know, for that other country uh, for you. You can have someone creating articles. You can have some, you can hire a copywriter. They can do a sales letter, sales video script, uh, even creating the sales video for you. Um, you know, social media posts, all that stuff in the other language uh, if you want to. It's just like hiring someone to do all that stuff for you uh, for an English speaking market. Same thing for another uh, language market. So you can just hire someone. And um, like I said, sometimes you can just have subtitles on your English videos and they can broaden your traffic audience. So if you take a popular English video on a subject that's working very well and you have some, you have the audio transcribed and then you have the transcription, you know, translate into a different language, then you can create an overlay showing basically like subtitles. And of course, there are other systems uh, with like YouTube and other video systems where you can actually um, have uh, like a, cl a closed caption, uh, you know, different languages uh, shown for the different um, settings for the video uh, from your translation into different languages. So you can do that. But you can completely reshoot a voiceover for someone that speaks that language. Uh, or you can just do subtitles over the top of your keeping your English uh, track. So a number of different ways that you can repurpose your content without creating everything from scratch for you to go into and test another market. So the key is simply uh, you know, to get in there quickly and to run some tests and try to get some results before you spend any money, before you spend any time or someone else's time to see if you can not only generate traffic, but get those conversions where you can start making more money. And then of course, when you start validating results from another country, well then you go all out, uh, as long as it's profitable of course, and really ramp it up and scale it up to hopefully really make more and more money. And so the way you do that is to simply test the quickest path first to get results. What is the quickest path? Can I take some of these special reports that are in English and just have them translated to French? Can I take the autoresponder series of 10 messages that go, go out automatically over the first two weeks when someone subscribes and just have those translated to French or German or whatever the languages you're targeting? You know, can I translate the sales page to another language to see if people will buy? Whatever the quickest path is, that's what you want to test first to see if you can get those results. Again, don't invest a lot of money in having content made or, uh, you know, certain copy rewritten by a you know a German copywriter or a Japanese copywriter, so on and so forth. So test the quickest path first, see if you can get results. If you do, then that's a good sign. Then you can really expand from there. Create a full-blown site. That's a spin-off of your main business just for that language market. You know, you may even have a different, you know, brand name, different, you know, product logos, colors, themes, everything. Uh, based around the culture for that other language market. So lots of opportunities that you can do once you start getting some results.